Good morning. We're not at the Fredericktown Homestead this morning. We're in Mount Perry. We're going to go to Illinois today. Uh, I think that's where we're going. And uh, I wanted to introduce myself. We, on our channel, we've uh, been talking some about introductions. My name is J.B. Brown. I was born in 1951. Uh, I first started farming in uh, 76 with a man born in 1896, Archie Morse. That was my first introduction to farming. I lived at his farm for six years in a chicken coop, a brooder house, and uh, he taught me what he knew about uh, farming and uh, and just general economics of life and taught me a lot of life lessons. Uh, he'd been through uh, the Depression and World War II and World War One, and actually Archie Morse, uh, when he was 12 years old, he was over in Hoppington, New Hampshire, and uh, a Stanley Steamer, the first automobile he'd ever seen, came through town, and they said they were headed over the county road to Henniker. So he got on the train, went back over to his own town, Henniker, where our farm was there. And uh, when he got off the farm, uh, got off the train, excuse me, I got up early. He got off the train and uh, went about the town, like a town crier, I guess, saying there's an automobile coming, there's a, a horseless carriage coming, there's a Stanley steamer coming whatnot, and uh, that was the first automobile to come to Henniker, New Hampshire, and Archie Morris, born in 1896, he was uh, the heralder of that uh, automobile, and he was my mentor for six years, and okay, that's enough about that segment, but uh, I've farmed on many, many farms. I've sugared on 11 different farms, I know because I've counted those up, but I've farmed on probably upwards of 30 different farms. Never owned a farm, but uh, I treat them all like they're own, my, my own. And uh, been married twice, single now, and uh, I lost my hearing in uh, 96, got a cochlear implant now, and I can hear pretty well. Uh, I've always been interested in what we call farming, what today is the YouTubers are calling homesteading. Uh, it's kind of a misnomer because homesteading connotates that you get the farm at the end. Uh, the way I'm homesteading at the moment, the farm will never be mine, no matter how long I do it. But I can always call it mine. I can always use it as if it was mine. Uh, let me just... It won't do it. But uh, I'm going to turn the thing around. That's what I'm going to do. There you go. There's the sunrise. Yeah. Uh, introduction. So... I started farming in 76 after I'd traveled around the world for two years and uh, decided to start to settle in Henniker, New Hampshire, where I finished my education. I got a BA in secondary education with a minor in um, creative writing and archaeology. And uh, some of the courses I took to get through school were bicycle riding, badminton, uh, soccer. Uh, <laughs> I just did it to get my education, to get the cre necessary credits. I did most of my learning after I got out of school. 
in my traveling and in my uh, farming at different farms. In New Hampshire, we passed a milk law that enabled us to sell raw milk, and uh, that raw milk law enabled me to stay on several different farms and uh, show people how it all worked with the dairy cows milking less than 25 gallons, selling the 25 gallons per day, selling the milk from the farm or from the um, farmer's market in the town they lived in, and um, raising meat birds, egg birds, and uh, pigs were the basic parts of the formula. And uh, having done that on several different farms, I feel like I got a pretty good handle on all that. I raised my own pigs when I got married in uh, 80, I got raised my own pigs. Well, I got my own pigs in 76, and I raised my own pigs until 90, uh, I guess 96 was, uh, 97 was the last year I had pigs on my own. And uh, those were the same genetics all the way through. And now I haul the Amish and I have a big farm. I have it, but I don't own it. It's uh, mine to use. And uh, I haul the Amish, and I've got a family there. They'll be introducing themselves, and uh, they're there to learn. Uh, there's a lot of learning to homesteading. And I'm headed to Illinois today, so... I can hear they're packing up the van. I'll let you go. There'll be more on this introduction as time goes on. The people in the family will all be introducing themselves one by one. Well, all of them. Maybe one of them won't be introducing themselves, but will be introduced, I'm sure. We have one uh, handicapped girl in the family that's living there, and uh, that's an integral part of how the whole thing works. But. You'll hear more about that. All right. I'm going to go to my other job, which is to haul the Amish. I'm a yoder-toter, so God bless. <laughs>